My name is Vim Vigorous. This is Successes for Losers, episode 30. And I've given myself 365 days to become financially independent. It was going to be a calendar day project, but since I don't know how to make videos and I didn't have anybody to help me, and since it takes too long anyway, I decided I could count it by business days. So it seems like a good time to assess myself. In almost no case have I taken my advice. In the first episode, I said, don't do anything you don't know how to do. But it's 30 business days later, and I'm still doing video editing because I haven't found anybody else to do it. And now I kind of know how to do it. And so when I could have been out making money, theoretically, I've been spending all the time making these videos. I also said that it's important to get good people on your team. Jamie Farr always struck me as a good person to have on the team. I was advised to play hard to get, but it just became this game of chicken where I was not contacting him in the first place. He was not contacting me from the start. I still don't think he uses YouTube because I did a promoted videos thing with YouTube keyword Jamie Farr so that if he ever self-searched, my video would pop up. So I guess I'm going to need to get more aggressive. I don't know if he thinks that there is a better opportunity available for a comeback. Or maybe he doesn't realize that he's in need of a comeback. And you remember I mentioned at the beginning that I'd been trying to get my friend Feinstone to be my entertainment lawyer. To have a sit down with Jamie Farr's agent. Make sure that Jamie Farr doesn't totally screw me over. And I told you that he didn't really think the whole enterprise was serious. So I tried to explain the truth to him, but he still hasn't agreed to represent me even though I told him I'd pay him. He is now watching the episodes. He's subscribed to my YouTube page. Something I would recommend to you. Make me feel good. So I'm encouraged. I'm thinking of doing something special for new subscribers. I think I just peed in my pants. I also said I needed a sidekick, and my only requirement was that the sidekick be male. And then the only offers I get are from women who want something from me, my body. So maybe what I need is a better word for sidekick. Because nobody thinks of himself as a sidekick, let's face it. Do you remember when I talked about cleaning my office? And then you remember at the end, there's a little kicker where you see I've conscripted my little daughters to do that for me. And it's true, I did do that, but my management style has been fairly hands-off, and so the office is pretty much what it always was. It's kind of weird that I peed on myself. So it seems like I'm regressing a bit, huh? But that's the way it goes. What would really be weird is if I weren't encountering adversity everywhere. So maybe give me a break, why don't you? Thanks. I really like your suggestions, guys. I'm going to be airing them, or some of them, or bits and pieces of them, or none of them if they're not any good, but I'm prepared for them to be good. Because I am serious, no matter what Fine Stone says. So to sum up, my office, still dirty. Fine Stone still won't represent me. On the other hand, watches my videos. Jamie Farr, stalemate. The women want me for the body, but they can't have me for the anything. Sidekicks don't want to admit that they're sidekicks, and I just peed on myself. So that's my first 30 days 